All right, I am going to go through three different types of emergencies that you might find at home. First one is you could have a wire sticking out or poking, and I'll get some better. Second one, you might have a brace that's wiggly or loose on your wire, you know, in different spots. Or the wire can get pulled all the way out and be all over the place. So, so let me go through the different ways to handle those things. So if you have a wire back here that's poking, one way that you can address it is take a pencil, use the eraser end, and put it on the wire and push on the wire. That will bend the wire enough to get rid of the poke. Okay. All right, so if the wire is a little long, you can take your tweezer, grab on the wire, and pull the wire that's long so that it's not sticking out as much. Those are two ways to get rid of a wire that's poking at the back. Next thing, a loose brace or bracket that comes off a tooth. So here, if you see this brace, it's wobbling around the tooth. It's not glued down to the tooth. This is not a real emergency, although it might be a little annoying. The easiest thing to do is just leave it there and let it float around. It's not going to bother anything. You don't want to be grabbing at it or pulling it, because if you pull on it too hard, you can pull your whole wire out. And then the bracket is on there, and then you have a big wire sticking, sticking in your cheek, and you don't want to do that. So the best thing to do is just leave it where it is. I'm going to show you a way to take off a bracket if it becomes really annoying. So here is a very large example of what the silver braces that we use in our office look like. And I'm going to show you how to release the wire from the brace and you can try this if you have a bracket flopping around and you want to try to take the bracket off the wire. All right, so I'm gonna show you. So you get your tweezer, put it in the little hole or window, and lift up. There we go, let's try again. And lift up, and the door pops open, and then the wire can come out. If the bracket is floating around and not on the tooth, you can take the bracket off, and it won't affect the wire in the little hole and pull down and the little door pops open you can see this door is open this door is closed and that way and here we go we'll do another one so now those two are open and do another one here those two are open so now the wire can come out of the braces if you, if you have a door that's open and the wire is out, just push the wire back in with your finger and use your fingers to close the little doors over the braces. All right, that's one way you can get the wire or the brace that's flopping around off, okay? Let's say worst case scenario happens you pull the wire out and it's sticking way out like this and poking you in your cheek. If your wire is small enough, you can try a nail clipper. If it's good and sharp, you can grab the wire, squeeze real tight, and the wire will clip off. If that doesn't work, go and find a plier from your toolbox that has a little wire cutter on it. You need to be very careful and wear safety glasses when you're doing this. Put on some glasses because pieces of wire can go flying. And then you pull the wire out of your mouth. Use your little pliers, 
grab the little end and are you in focus Troy okay okay back up so you can see the wire and everything you see the wire yep, all right it's gonna go flying and when you squeeze are you focused yeah. and you clip the wire it's gonna go flying go. it's right here and that way, if you have a wire that's really bad in poking, you can clip it and usually keep it in there and make it shorter so it's not kind of sticking out. Those are the few things that you can do at home. Call me and let me know what's going on and I'll walk you through how to handle any emergency.